So hey guys, this is Four Legs. Welcome back to another Four Legs video. I am not actually in my hardcore world. I am at this big thing here. Now this is a world eater, yeah? This is a circle. This is a spawn perimeter. Now this... Well, yeah, but this is... Just take up the spawn perimeter. And this, if you add on two blocks there, and make that a square, and stood in the middle there, I love how that rhymes. Nothing would be able to spawn, basically. Now, with this, this gives you a 50 block leeway. So, anywhere within this circle, within 15, within 50 blocks of this diamond in each, like, direction, nothing can spawn, basically. And we're going to dig this out on my hardcore world. And the lime area, because it's square, can be done with one of these bad boys. The rest of it I'll have to dig out manually. Now, this is... Manual perimeters are doable. But I think doing the perimeter with one of these... Mending this bit out would save a lot of time. And it gives me something to do while I'm doing this thing as well. As long as it doesn't create too much lag. Which... It shouldn't do, but I can AFK just in case, so I feel a little bit uneasy about it. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go and build it, basically. I'm going to make a bamboo farm instead of using blaze rods for that, because the blaze rod farm is kind of slow. And I despise going there and having to use it. And I also got mini HUD mod as well. But yeah, so what I'm going to be putting in here is that thing there, because that thing is slow, and I want to get the entire thing here filled up with rockets. And like, this little farm here, this itty bitty little farm, is actually pretty fast, and also... Good idea, actually, because I have so much of that. Anyway. I need to decide where I'm going to put this, so... I reckon here would be here would be pretty good. It's pretty close. Would mean I won't because I need a perma loader to take the items to my little thing. So here wouldn't be too bad actually. I was thinking of building them up here, but actually I could probably fit like four here. I reckon that is a good area. That's just too close to everything, you know. So I need to go into here, mini HUD. Because mini HUD is cool. We need to make a cylinder. And it is... 128 radius. 158... 100... 100... 178. Set it to here. Press G to turn it on. Oh, enable it. Hmm. Actually, that's bigger than I thought it goes. It's like this sort of size. So, anyway, guys, I think this is one of those moments when you should do what is known as a third person time lapse. Or I could maybe even montage the entire thing and just be like, oh yeah, perimeter's done, guys. Bog champ. But nah, you know, f actually, first person time lapse, because I want to I wanna break it up. I want to make it juicy, you know, make it fresh. First person time lapse. Start. Now. So hey guys, welcome back after that short little time lapse. And the sun is just about to set, which is kind of poggers because I am finished and it was very perfectly timed, I would say. And now we need to figure out where this little square bit is. So we have a corner that is here. Bro, look how big this circle is. It's actually going to be pretty cool. I'm very 
very hyper for this project to be started proper like in it. Okay, I've just noticed I'm going to need a lot, a lot of pistons. Like, a lot, a lot. I'm going to need over three stacks of just normal ones. So I'm going to go get all this craft up, then you're going to see a really cool montage, basically. Because my mum needs me, and I don't want to start recording again until I've actually done something. So, see you guys in a minute. So hey guys, welcome back. Yes, I have my shield on, and yeah, I forgot to <laughs> I forgot to make up observers, so I went to go try bartering, and the bartering didn't really go all that well. Just just gonna say that it didn't go very well. Now I have loads of never quartz left because I thought it was two stacks or two quartz, but it's not. It's two redstone, and actually, don't put that in there because. I'll get triggered. It can go in there for now. But as you can see, this is the big perimeter. This is actually, I remeasured, it's fr it's a 352 by 352 circular perimeter. So the circle is a diameter of 350 whatevers. And, yeah, this is fully done now, and I'm just going to eyeball it real quick, actually. That's not too bad. I've just found an easier way. I spent, like, a few minutes looking on Reddit, and I found a machine that will actually make some really nice trenches. So, we're going to give that a go. But anyway, so we're going to have one, two, three, four. Put up one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Build up one. One, two, three, four. Now, yeah, that is actually 18, not 15, but it doesn't matter. I really don't actually give a bubba buoy. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get these. We're gonna load dramatics. Trench digger. Now, this will dig. A neat trench as well, which is very, very nice. Alright, so we put the TNT on. And then just in case it goes big no bueno. We dig around the TNT. And actually, I don't even need to really be here anymore. So I can probably just... Bloop. So now we need to get that on, basically. So what we do is we get a temporary block here. On here. Uh, we also need some spare blocks as well. Ah, oh, crap. Minecart, yeah, like that. Piston goes like that. Do that. Now it's armed, it's primed, it's about to explode. So basically, right, the rule is don't update this, don't touch it, don't go anywhere near it, don't do anything, basically. Oh, well, that's not, that's not good, that's not good. Oh no, it's running away, damn it. 